All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, escape sequences in strings. So quotes are not the only characters that can be escaped inside a string. Escape sequences allow us to use characters we may not otherwise be able to use in a string. Okay. So here's the codes right here. We've got the single quote right there. We've done that. Double quote. That's what we would use. Backslash. If we want to do a backslash, we do it like that. New line right here. We've got the in tab. We've got the escape tab, escape T, carriage return. I don't know what that means. Uh, backspace. We can, I'm, I don't know why we would need that, but whatever. Uh, and then form feed. I don't know what that means either, right? So note that the backslash itself must be escaped in order to display as a backslash. Gotcha. So now we're going to assign the following three lines of text into this single variable, my string, using escape sequences, right? So we'll just take this and put it over there in a second. Uh, we're going to need to use escape sequences to insert special characters correctly. We will also need to follow the spacing as it looks above, with no spaces between escape sequences or words. Note, the indentation for second line is achieved with the tab escape character, not spaces. Gotcha. All right. So inside here, let's just take this stuff, copy it, and put it right here. Another thing we're going to do after this change this line, we're going to say console.log, whoops, log right here. And we're going to say my string like that so that we can uh, check as we go, right? So first line right here looks good. So let's do it. Let's do an escape character. So backslash in so that it goes down to the second line. All right, so now we've got the second line right here. What we want to do is we want to make the uh, slash T, the backslash T for the uh, tab. So let's say backslash. Let's leave the backslash that's already there there. We're going to say backslash T like this. And then we're going to put a backslash in front of that backslash. Whoops. Backslash in front of that backslash like this. So now we've got this escape character and this escape character, right? Now let's put another line break here. Let's say backslash in, and then we've got the third line right here, and that should be good. So what's this, what's the problem right here? First line, ah, let's also bring these up next to each other like this, all right? So now as you can see right here that we've done this, and it looks terrible to read in code, but when it displays in the console, it looks good enough, right? Let's run the test, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to concatenating strings with plus operator, and we'll see you next time.